I was watching the game. It was just another play. I can still hear the sound. I didn't know it was him hurt at first. And Coney like lifted up his leg and like he was just hanging there. On October 19, 2012, in the small town of Warden, Montana, it was the last game of the season for the Huntley Project High School football team when Coney Dole suffered a broken leg, requiring immediate surgery. They just felt something wasn't right. And then when they did the surgery and took some of the muscle I knew right then, we were headed down the path that wasn't good. They had my mom and dad break the news to him that either he'd have a limp leg for the rest of his life, that he'd have to wear a brace and never play football or anything again, or have an amputation. He chose an amputation. After six surgeries, Coney Dole awakened to the realization that his life would not be the same. You know, hoping you're gonna wake up from a bad dream and just looking down and seeing your leg, it's not there anymore. You know, just having to accept that right there, just hard. The doctor came in right away and was explaining to me everything I was going to be able to and wasn't going to be able to do. I don't think you'll ever be able to play football again, but there's other options. And I just kind of like thought to myself, you know, watch me. After the doctors gave the okay to go home, Coney gave himself the okay to get back to work. Just looking at how many days I had till our first team camp. And you know, that was the plan all along to be back by then. Just two months after his amputation, Coney was on the mat wrestling. Then with a prosthetic blade, he was running. But there were trying times. I could just see it in his eyes. He just started crying. And he's like, I can't do this. I, don't, I can't do this anymore. And me and Coach Hess were telling him, you can't give up. You gotta prove these guys wrong. Determined, Coney was training harder than ever to achieve that goal set from his hospital bed. In his return game, Coney scored two touchdowns and recorded a sack. Just to step in that end zone again, it was just kind of like, I'm back, I'm back, I'm not going anywhere this time. It was very emotional to see seven months of such hard work and to learn how to walk again, to learn how to run, to learn how to laterally move and know what it takes to play the game. It was on this field where a broken leg could have ended a dream. But Coney Dole had a dream not meant to be broken. His determination to rise again helped turn his lifelong dream into a reality, earning a preferred walk-on scholarship to play football at Montana State University. My heart just sank when I got to read that email. I seriously like called my mom right away. She was at work, went and woke up my dad. Just gave me the butterflies. Just seeing his face, what he's always wanted is continuing, and he knows that what he's worked for is paying off. Darren Haynes, Al Zara.